hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this particular video so in this video guys i'm going to guide you how to set up your uh, development environment especially if you're working with javafx so we're going to be needing um, a lot of software here so the first one is the netbeans so currently i'm using netbeans 11.2 uh, so you can go ahead and download this particular software um, the link is on the description box below so you can go ahead and download NetBeans 11.2 and of course guys we're gonna need uh, JavaFX 13 and this is the latest release of JavaFX so 13.0.2 and again the link is on the description box below you can download this particular uh, release of JavaFX and of course guys if you want if you want to have an easy or have an ease on developing JavaFX application so you might want to download Singular so basically this is just a drag and drop rapid application development and it will greatly help you with your JavaFX projects later on so go ahead and download this particular software and just follow the installation instructions to install this uh, software, especially the NetBeans, the JavaFX, and Scene Builder. Now that we have downloaded all the necessary software for our JavaFX development, it's about time for us to configure our project and to be able to run our JavaFX project. So the first thing that you're going to need is you have to go to Tools and then Libraries. And then make sure to add a new library here. So by clicking new and then just name it JavaFX 13 and then click OK. And then as of this moment, it has no content yet. So you might want to add jar or folder for this particular library. So make sure to extract the content of the JavaFX 13 and you can place it anywhere you want but in my case I place it on my C drive and I have it here JavaFX SDK 13.0.2 so all you have to do is click on that and under lib folder so all we have to do is select all this particular files and then add jar or folder and then click on OK so basically we just we we have just added the global library for JavaFX after that we're going to add or create a new project clicking by clicking on this particular icon new project and then Java with Ant and then Java application next and then uncheck create main class and of course name our project hello effects and then finish so in here we need to add the Java effects library so right click on this and then properties and then libraries so under class path, make sure to add the library that we have added. So it is basically the JavaFX 13 add library. There you go. And then under the run tab, make sure to add also the module path. Okay. The same li uh, library JavaFX 13. And then uh, under the run option and in here we need to add the modules so for for us to do that we need to add the keyword add and then modules and then JavaFX that controls and JavaFX that fxml and then ok and then the next step is to add the home for our scene builder so tools and then options and then java and then javafx and make sure to point 
your scene builder here so it is the installation of our scene builder in our local machine so there you go and then click on apply and then okay and right there you can already create your first java effects application so in here we can make a new package so, so for example com at semex code and then main and and in here we can create our first file which is for our hello world okay so this will be our first file of our JavaFX project so in this in this file or in this class we can extend the class application okay application and then we can just in uh, import this and implement the abstract methods which is the start then we can remove this for now and we can add a button so bdn1 plus new button and of course the text is hello world then we can import this Okay, so make sure to import it from JavaFX scene control and button, not from the Java AWT. So make sure it is from JavaFX. Okay, and then right after that one, we can say stack pane and then root equals new stack pane. And the same thing, make sure that it is coming from JavaFX. Okay. And we can add the root pane or we can add the button to this particular pane. So root equals get children and then add the PTN1. And of course, we can set the scene for this. So scene equals new scene. And then the root pane and of course the size of our window which will be 600 by 400 and then we can set the stage let's just import this first stage dot set scene okay and then we can set of course the title of our window so set title hello or first java effects application and right after that one we can um, say stage and then show okay and then we can create the main method here so that will be pub public static void main and then we can call the start uh, method that we have defined here so that will be or I mean we can launch this particular application so launch and then specifying the arguments okay so there you have it and then we can save this and try to run our first JavaFX application so as you can see, we have now the first JavaFX application window with this particular button, Hello World. Okay, so I think that concludes our tutorial for JavaFX. So basically, in this video, we have set up our JavaFX development environment. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thanks.